Hey folks, Rooster just got a brand new collar. I replaced this one, which there was nothing wrong with. Just getting a little wear. I want to show you these collars, guys, and I'm going to make you an offer, okay? Let's see your new collar, Rooster. And I'm trying not to show my phone number. But uh, these are the strongest collars you could get. And they're fairly inexpensive. I can get these for $6.99. Comes with a brass plate that I usually put my first and last name. You don't put the dog's name. That's not important. You want to put your name, where you live. Uh, for example, the city. You could put your address. I would not advise that. Just put the city you live in. Uh, that way they know it's a local dog or it's not a local dog. And your phone number. Uh... If your dog ever gets lost, all they got to do is read that and call you. That puppy that was here the other day, that's how I got a hold of the owner. And these are like a very thick, uh, I don't know, neoprene collar. They will not break. I have never seen one of these break. If anything, they wear out about right where the collar latches in. Uh, you, get, you know, make sure you get them tight enough where the dog can't slip out of it like Miss Rooster and Libby and her got new ones today uh, these are $6.99 with the everything on it if you guys want one uh, I, I would charge $10 and I don't think shipping would be a whole lot maybe a dollar but that would cover it I'm not gonna make any money on it but I would like because these aren't available at a lot of places and they're very available here. They come in 16 inch, I believe 18 inch, all the way up to 24 inch. And Rooster's got a 16 inch, and there's, you know, <laughs> she's way down here, but it fits her. And that was the smallest they had. So if you need one of these for your dog, let me know. And uh, you can email me. I got my email address on the about page. Email me uh, what you need, what you want on. I highly recommend just your name, the town and state you live in, and your phone number. Doesn't need any more than that. Uh, if you don't want your name on it, that's fine. But it's good because if somebody knows you, that cuts out the phone calls and everything. They can load your dog up and bring it home. And I've never had one of these plates come off uh, either. And, uh, and they're, they're very comfortable for the dog. I kind of just put a little bend in the plate to kind of match the circle, you know, of going around their neck. But if you want one of these, uh, like I said, email me and then you can PayPal $10. And if, if the shipping, uh, covers that, you know, the $10 covers the shipping, you know, I usually go to town every day, so I wouldn't even charge for gas or anything like that. It's at the co-op right down the road. Well, right down the road to me is 10 miles, but I would have, be happy to do that for people uh, simply because I know how it's like, you know, when, when you, my dog's, <laughs> it's been a long time since one of mine got loose, but it has happened and it will happen. And, you know, the ones that did get loose, I got a phone call. Hey, your dogs are up, up here. And I went and got them. So, they are nice. This is the old one I took off of her. They come, and they also come in different colors. Uh, maybe when I'm in the co-op, I will, they come in like a pink, uh, purple. Uh, there's one that has like a reflective tape, but they're all made out of this stuff. There is no other collar I've ever used that can beat this one. And they're a whole lot cheaper. That's the good part. So I'm going to post this video. And if, if anybody's interested. And I'm only doing this. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to make no money. But I like people to have these that where they're not available to them. Uh, I've sent out many of these to people. And it's just good to know that, you know, your dog, even if you put it on a cable like I do, Rooster and Libby, so they could be outside and not have to run into the highway and get hit. Well, these aren't going to break. I guarantee you the cable will break before these collars do. So, I'm going to end it here, but I just wanted to post this. Uh, hit me up. I'll, I'll get one out to you.
happy trails. I don't do t-shirts and, and coffee mugs like a lot of channels. I'm doing dog collars. I'm going to do dog related stuff. I'm not interested in making money off of it or a profit. I'm doing this as a service for people that don't have this kind of thing available where they live. All right, guys. Happy trails. And also, guys, oh, my battery's low. Hopefully, we can, I can talk fast. I've had a situation with my neighbor uh, about the, the dog they have. Uh, he just reached out to me. When, you know, to make a long story short, they're having some medical issues, uh, which has, you know, they're at fault, too. They got a dog they could not handle. Uh, they're my age. They have medical issues. In fact, she's in the hospital. But they have a beautiful black 100-pound German Shepherd. I don't think she's full blood. She's got a little white patch on her belly. But she's just jet black and just an awesome, awesome dog. She's been uh, spayed. And, yeah, spayed. <laughs> I had to think. She has been spayed. We got to get her a new home. He finally said we got to get her a new home. So if anybody, and she has one deep woof, woof, woof bark. I mean deep. It would scare anybody off. And I don't want her to go to a home where she's going to be put in a kennel. She's done that, you know. She's about three years old, I believe, maybe four. Uh, she needs a little work. But she is a beautiful dog. I mean, it, she gets out from over there. And she comes right to me because she, because I, when I, whenever I had to take care of her, I'd give her the good meals. You know, mix a little meat in, all the treats. So she, she knows. Uh, I will see if we can do a video with her, uh, show you the dog. So if you know anybody, and I'm very picky about it, who gets a dog. You know, I don't like. To give a dog i'd rather this go to some homestead that doesn't have a dog but they have to prove to me that they're capable of taking care of it and it should probably be somebody that's in good physical shape because she is a big dog but i think with the with a couple of months worth of work with her she's beautiful she looks like a police dog i mean she's beautiful but uh i'll end this here but that's something i i'm gonna be uh shooting a video on I do have contacts that what we do here when I ran the shelter, we send a transport up to Minnesota, I think once a month. I believe they're still doing that. I'd rather her go somewhere, somebody that I can, you know, keep an update with, who could update me on her progress. Uh, it'd be cool, you know, if another channel took her and I could watch videos. But, you know... I, I had a little bit of anger about some of the situation, but now I understand a little better. Uh, you know, it, the dog has not been given the best care, and he knows that. And they got a dog that they were physically incapable of handling. And I think with a little work, it isn't, you know, I can handle her just fine, but sometimes she gets out of there and I can't blame her. I can't chase her down, you know. So I understand that. So I will be reaching out to you guys with a video. I would love to see somebody get this dog. And I want this dog. I want to see this dog having a ball. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be a very busy man here uh, the next, hell, all summer. All right, guys. Happy trails. Take care.